We are going to cover canonical forms. So these are things as sum of products and products of sums, uh, also known as conjunctive normal form and disjunctive normal form. So imagine we have a truth table, such as the one below, and we want to find a formula for all the rows that are true, what makes F true, or a formula for what makes F false. Now, there are some fancy ways that we can make a nice consolidated formula that covers multiple rows, but one way of doing this that is rather easy and straightforward is to just take a look at all of the rows that are true and create individual little formulas that express, okay, for F to be true, I need this particular configuration of X, Y, and Z. And then you'll have one little formula that covers row C. Then we could make a new formula that covers row D. So essentially what we'd be doing is we'd be saying, okay, uh, C, we need a formula for C that makes that true, uh, and it's true when D is true, and it's true in this row for F, and it's true in the last row for H. So if we figure out these four different conditions, then we get a formula where F is true. Alternatively, we can look at it for where F is false, and we could ask, well, what makes not F true, and do sort of the same idea there. So I wanna look over each of these methods like as a step-by-step -step guide. So first we'll talk about the sum of products, also known as disjunctive normal form. So basically this means that we have uh, something like C, and then it's a sum of products. So we sum one product, we sum the other product, we sum the other one, and so on. So that's our goal here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna focus on the ones in the truth table, and we're going to do exactly as I showed in the last slide. So for example, let's take a look at uh, row C. Okay, so we know that C is true. So how do we make C true? What are the assignments of X, Y, and Z? Well, we have not X, because X is false. We have Y, because Y is true. And we have not Z, because Z is false. So this tells us how we can make row C true. Okay, and now we can figure out how to make row D true. Well, this is going to be uh, not X, because X is false. And it's going to be y because y is true and it's going to be z okay so that's how we make the d condition true uh, now with f well when we do f we're doing x is true y is false so we'll put not y and then we'll put z because z is true and finally for that last row uh row h well it's going to be x is true y is true and z is true so x y z Okay, so now this is basically saying in order to make F true, like when is F true? Well, it's true whenever C is true, or D is true, or F is true, or H is true. And that's basically what we've done here. So a very straightforward process, but something that we do have to uh, think of and work out in practice. So I wanna show you what this looks like in propositional logic because uh, in disjunctive normal form, Typically, that's the uh, philosophical logic side, while sum of products is the digital logic side. So these will look a little bit different. So if you want to think about C, this would be saying uh, not X and Y and not Z. Or, and then for D, we would go uh, not X and Y and Z. Or for F, we would do... Uh, X and not Y and Z. And then for the last one, we would have or and then X and Y and Z. So just enough room to do that there. And this is what it looks like in propositional logic. And you can also see here why this is called disjunctive normal form, because each of our little terms here is separated by an or sign, the disjunction. Now, all of these terms so whether we look at the Boolean logic, like not X, Y, not Z, or not X and Y and not Z, these are all called min terms. So each one is called a min term. So the sum of all of these min terms gives us the sum of products or the disjunctive normal form. 
Okay, so this gives us our SOP or our DNF. But there's also this thing called product of sums and conjunctive normal form. And we're going to show you a really straightforward way of doing this. But in order to do that, you need to know how to do this. So we're going to focus on the zero rows in the truth table. And this is a two-step process for product of sums or conjunctive normal form. So basically, we're going to find the DNF, the SOP, that makes not F true. So basically, we're going to do just what we did before, but for the zero rows. And then we're just going to flip some stuff around. So uh, let's take a look at this. So we're going to focus now on rows A, which comes out to zero, B, which comes out to zero, E, which comes out to zero, and G, that comes out to zero. And we're going to do the same thing we did before. So we're going to do basically A or B or uh, what is that? E or G. Okay. So for A, we have not X, not Y, and not Z. That makes F false. Or in row B, we have uh, not X, not Y, and Z. Or row E, we have X, not Y, and not Z. Since X is true, Y is false, and Z is false. And finally, for G, we have X true, Y true, and Z false. So we're going to get X, Y, and not Z. And if we want to convert this into propositional logic, uh, we would get something like not X and not Y and not Z, or not X and not Y and Z, or X and not Y and not Z, or X and Y and not Z. So these are equivalent. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just convert all the ors to ands and all the ands to ors, and we'll negate all the literals, and then we'll get an equivalent expression in conjunctive normal form. So, not x, not y, not z. In fact, let's just take a look at the propositional logic form first. But basically what we're doing here is not x is becoming x, and becomes or, not y becomes y, the and becomes or, and not z becomes z. Okay, so this is our first term. So in Boolean logic, digital logic, this is going to look like x plus y plus z. So basically we've taken all of our not x's, we flipped them to x's, uh, we've taken all of our products and we've converted them into sums. Okay, so these two are equivalent. Now we can go on to the B row. So for propositional logic, we're going to get an and in here. Okay, not x is going to become x, and becomes or, not y becomes y, and becomes or, and z becomes not z. So let's just put that there. Okay, so in Boolean logic, that is going to switch to uh, x plus y plus not z. Okay, let's keep going side by side. So the row E that we had x and not y and not z is going to become not x or y or z. So in Boolean logic, this is not x plus y plus z. And finally, for that fourth term, it's going to be another conjunction. And then x and y and not z is going to become not x or not y or z, which in digital logic switches to uh, not x plus not y plus z. So this is now our conjunctive normal form or our product of sums. So all of these individual terms here, now instead of calling them min terms, are called max terms. And uh, basically what this is saying is that if we have x or y or z being true, and we have x or y or not z being true, and we have not x or y or z being true, 
and we have not x or not y or z being true, um, that will be an equivalent representation for this function. This is basically just a really quick way of doing, uh, or finding the complementation of all this, the complement of our original formula. So basically, this up here, I'm going to get rid of the uh, propositional logic translation just so we can take a look at this in more detail. So why does this work? Let's answer that question. If this is the DNF that makes not F true, basically what we want to do is negate it to figure out when F is true. So if we negate this formula, what we're going to get is a situation where now F is true. Since originally we took a look at where not F was true, this is like saying F is false. So by negating this, what we end up with is a conjunctive normal form through a bunch of applications of De Morgan's law and double negation, essentially. This is just a more systematic way of doing it. Okay, so that's everything that we have to learn in the video. Let's just do one practice exercise and try to beat me to it. So you want to find the SOP and POS, or the DNF and CNF for this function f. Okay, so for the disjunctive normal form, we want to focus on all the rows where f is equal to 1. So if we give these all letters like we have before, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, we're looking for in this case is A plus B plus E plus F plus H. Since those are all the rows where F is true. So we're going to get uh, not X, not Y, and not Z for row A. Or for row B, we get not X, not Y, and Z. And for row E, we're going to get X and not Y and not Z. For row F, we're going to get X, not Y, and Z. And for row H, we're going to get all of them true. So X, Y, Z. Okay, so there we go. We now have the disjunctive normal form for this formula. It is right here. Now, for CNF, what we're going to do is we're going to make a DNF for F equal to zero, where F is false. And then what we're going to do is we're going to negate it and get a DNF or a CNF in the end. So then do um, not F equals zero for CNF. Okay, so our first step is going to be making a DNF for C plus D plus G. Okay, so for that we have not X, Y, and not Z. Plus, for row D, we have not X, Y, and Z. And for row G, we have X, Y, and not Z. Okay, so now what we're essentially doing here is we're just going to negate this. So I like using the propositional logic symbol just so I can kind of see what's going on in my head rather than putting this giant bar on top, which I can't draw straight lines, so taking some notational liberties here. Okay, so let's do the conversion. Uh, so all of these, again, the literals change from not to just normal or normal to not. Uh, the ands become ors and the ors become ands. So we're going to get x plus not y plus z for that first term. And that's going to be summed with uh, x plus not y plus z to get that second term. Sorry, that should be not z, because the z becomes not z. And then uh, this last one, we're going to get not x plus not y plus z, since again, we're just taking these terms, flipping them and putting pluses between them. And this is now going to be our CNF. So if you have any questions, I can answer them below or someone else can answer them. And as always, liking, commenting, all that stuff really helps out. So I appreciate all of you who do it.